Hello and welcome to Altia Suite. Today I'm going to talk about how to map your items into your QuickBook. First, we're going to go to products and then we're going to go to our items. And to view the current QuickBook mapping, we're going to go all the way to this top menu and go to the right and click on QuickBook account. Here is where you'll be doing the actual mapping of your items in QuickBook. To get started, you can go off of different categories. So if I go to my adjustments category, I can see that I have all these items mapped. If I go to my other page, you'll see that these items are not mapped. To get started mapping these items, we're going to go up to allow multiple selection. And we can click on which ones that we want to map. Or we can click this button to click all of them. And then we're going to go up to assign account for selected items. Here, the top one is the Altia Suite Cox account. So you can go and select which one that you want to assign it to. And then next is the inventory asset account. This is going to be mapped to your QuickBooks. You're going to choose the correct one. And finally, we have this income account. And then we're just going to go map to our sales account and we're going to hit apply. Now, after you hit apply, it applied all these accounts to my items. What I can do in my item manager, if I want to know which item has been mapped, I can go to the three dotted menu and I can go and view this item. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can see what my COGS account, my inventory asset account, and my income account is for this item. That's how to map your items into QuickBook and how to view the QuickBook mapping in the item level. Thank you.